Call me Mr. Know-It-All. I will not compromise. I will not be told what to do. I shall not step aside. <laughs> All right, so in front of me, I have the first three cell modules from the BMW 530e plug-in hybrid. And what I want to talk about a little bit is the BMS slave modules, slave boards, and the orientation or the placement location of these. Um, it seems that BMW makes this pretty modular, and we can mount them in a few different space, places. Uh, if you look at number one here, it's on the side, and I've unclipped it just to uh, make it easier for me to uh, demonstrate what I'm talking about. But it's mounted on the side, and it can easily be placed on top and mounted here, just like number two here, which was on top, can then be just simply mounted on the side, okay? like this. And here's number three, same thing. It's on the side. It can also be mounted on top. But I'm showing you, showing you this because one, two, and three are identical in terms of where the po negative, positive, negative, positive, negative positive. The BMS appears to be mounted by the negative uh, lead to the to the cell module. All right. That I will show you later is opposite of where it's mounted on cell modules four, five, and six. Okay, so we're going to uh, for demonstration purposes mount all the modules on the sides. All right. So let's, let's start with number one here, and it will just clip on clips on this side like so. This is number two. Now this one's fighting me a little bit because I think this one came mounted on the top. So I think the wires here are adjusting. And then this is number three. Okay. So now we have these three and they are completely identical and I can turn them around and if we were to build a pack, these would go on one side and then four, five, and six would go here and we would have the BMS slave boards on the outside. Okay, so now I'm going to bring out the other ones. So these are cell modules four, five, and six. And I want to point out how they're the opposite of one, two, and three when it comes to where the uh, slave BMS boards are mounted. On these, this is the negative, this is the positive, and a slave board is towards the positive lead terminal. Negative, positive, and BMS. Negative, positive, and BMS. But likewise, we can change 
where we want to place these. So for example, on number four here, we can put the BMS on top. So it's just like five, okay? I'm not gonna clip it in, but I'm just showing you that it can just be reversed like this. And then this is six and we can do the same, okay? So they can be mounted on top. What I wanna do is I want to actually mount them all on their sides. So four and five will stay the same they where they were from the factory. Five, I will switch to side mount. And six will stay the same. Okay, so now, if we were building a pack, these are identical, okay? They are identical to each other, four, five, and six. And if we were to build a pack, all the BMSs would be on the outside. Let me bring the other half. Okay, so here we have all six modules, and we will put them together end to end. And what I'm trying to show is where the BMS uh, slave modules go on these, and they're on the outside. So this is an example of arranging the pack one way. If you were to um, build it yourself and you want to flatten it out, if you're not going to install the BMW um, native form factor, which is kind of odd. It's designed to fit, obviously, into its native vehicle it's mounts underneath the rear seats. I doubt it. It will fit and match many uh, other vehicles rather than the one it came on. One of the things I want to do is take a measurement of what is the what are the dimensions dimensions of this pack. Uh, in this in this arrangement so I think I've measured this before but if we call this width it's uh, 21 and a quarter inches okay now this may not be as tight as I can get it let's see here uh, yeah 21 and a quarter inches and then if we look at it and call this the length so this is 31 and a half inches, okay? 31 and a half. And there may be some advantages and benefits of building your pack this way. Now, I've seen an arrangement where all the BMSs are on the inside, so let's, let's arrange it that way. Okay, so now this is a different arrangement. I would call this sort of like the spinal cord arrangement just because I like coming up with silly names. Uh, obviously, it's going to be the same uh, length, if you will. Uh, let's see here. So, yeah, 31 and a half roughly, maybe a little bit. Um, wider just but there there could be a benefit to arranging your pack this way and i've seen guys on the forums on the open inverter forum do it this way because now you're consolidating your um, bms wiring harness uh, and making it tighter uh, probably shorter runs 
and it's all running down the middle of your battery pack. So that is if you prefer this method. I've disconnected all the BMS slave boards, slave modules from the side mounts because you know me, uh, this is a PIA for me to disconnect on camera and wanted to spare you the agony of watching me struggle. Um, and once again, yes, it's easy once you know how. So I'm still getting my practice in on that. But let's mount these on the top and let's take a look at a different arrangement. I, I can do these nice and smooth a million times off camera, but then with the camera on, I look like a complete idiot. Here we go. So here I'm continuing on to mount these on top. Okay, so now this is another option that we have. We can mount these on top and this is a variation of what I call the spinal cord, if you will, design where the modules, although on top, they're still on the inside. So we are narrowing the pack um, or if we call, I don't know if we can call this the width or the length, but Let's take a measurement. So this one now is 30 inches, just under 30. I know we can just measure the width of a module, but I like to get a measurement of the entire thing, the way it's laid out. I just trust that more. So this is another option that we have if we're just going to make it flat. This is all the flat design but BMS on t mounted on top and in. Now I'm just going to, for completeness, rotate them so that the BMSs can be point uh, on the outside. And yes, this is a bit silly, but it's also a bit of fun and a bit of danger. I feel like that game cups. Okay, so, you know, this is not going to change our width or length by any means, but it's just a different orientation. Maybe you're trying to mount it somewhere where you don't have the height uh, here and you don't have the width so these have to be on the outside there could be all sorts of um, reasons why you need to do it this way I'm just trying to um, show all the different variations but the point is that if we're looking at these modules one two and three have the BMS on the negative side of the battery okay and I think that's important to uh, uh, keep in mind. And then uh, four, five, and six have it on the um, positive side of the battery. And that's just the way the leads run. I'm going to pop one of these lids off, actually two of them, off of each, each kind and show you what I mean. So I wanna show you in detail what I mean by this battery symmetry, asymmetrical or symmetrical and um, BMS, slave board placement, orientation, all this nonsense. I keep beating, beating this dead horse to death. So I have here uh, one of each uh, cell module. So module number one represents modules one, two, and three. They are identical. And here module, uh, cell module number four represents uh, 
4, 5, and 6. So the batteries themselves are identical. Facing you, this is the negative, this is the positive, this is the negative, and this is the positive. So negatives are there, positives here, right? That part is identical. But watch what happens when I remove the lids of these. And this is what I'm talking about. Do you see which way the orange wires run here? Do you see how that goes to my right? They go this way. They run towards the negative lead. That's the negative. On this side, they do the opposite. So this is the negative lead, but there is no module here. It runs to the positive side of the battery. Now, this may be a moot point. It may make no difference to some of you whatsoever, but I'm just pointing it out, okay, that not all six cell modules are identical, and this is one of the differences, okay? Again, it may absolutely make no difference in how you install them but one of the questions I would have is could you take two packs and take one two and three from one and connect them to one two and three from the other and have all the same orientation of the BMS modules going to the negative terminal and conversely could you do the same with the other leftover cell modules four, five, and six from the first battery pack and four, five, and six from the second battery pack and have the exact same orientation for the BMS there. Now, you could also rewire these, but that's a bit of a pain in the butt because you're doing some soldering. I don't think all the um, wires would reach if you were just to flip them around. So anyway, that's something I wanted to share. It was bugging me a little bit. I wanted to clarify it, and um, thanks for watching.